my dear friends in Jesus Christ, a very beautiful and blissful morning to everyone. Today, in this gospel passage, we see Jesus choosing his men. It's very interesting to know why Jesus chose his men. Because it's for the same reason he still needs and wants men. And that's why we are here. Jesus chose the twelve from his disciples. The word disciple means a learner. Every Christian and more meaningfully all the selected ones are called to learn from him, our master Jesus Christ. Jesus chose the twelve to be his apostles. The Greek term apostle means one who is sent. It can be used for an ambassador. An ambassador is a person who represents his country in a foreign land. Just like that. An apostle is a person who is called to represent Jesus Christ wherever he goes and whatever he does. An apostle is another Christ. Jesus chose the twelve ordinary men from the common flock. It is as if Jesus said, give me twelve ordinary men, I would change this world. It is, the great deeds of Jesus Christ is not in the hands of men whom we consider great, but in the hands of the ordinary people, just like you and me. They were not worth, they were not educated, and they were not at all famous. But Jesus, through his choice and selection, made them worth. We are basically called to follow Jesus Christ as a Christian. Our Christian life should grow to his discipleship. From his discipleship, we are called to his apostleship. To send out, to preach his gospel, and to be his witness to the ends of the earth. My dear friends, let's pause for a while and reflect. Where we were, where we are, and to where we are called for. We are called to follow Jesus Christ as a Christian. More radically, we are called to his discipleship. And more meaningfully, we are called to his apostleship. To send out, to preach his gospel, and to be a witness to the ends of the earth. My dear friends, let's meditate.